Oh my God. I cannot, cannot freaking believe how frustrating today has been. Let's a girl need some lipstick kind of day. Oh. Need to hit on my hair soon. But look how much volume it has. I've been eating biotin jellies. And you, am I, I kind of have an oily scalp, I think. Um, but I've noticed ever since I started eating this biotin jellies that I've got like some pretty great volume and my hair has not stopped my hair from like falling out, you know, like long hair all over the place. But I have a lot more of it now or thicker or something. Oh bed last night. The cat has been keeping me awake at night and I toss and turn a lot more. And when I wake up in the morning, I feel like a, like a kid, like a little kid, like getting up for kindergarten. And I'm like, ready. And my hair's all like crazy rat's nest on top of my head. <laughs> I probably, I probably would have been that kid if my mom had let me. <laughs> but I'm Letting my hair, actually I have no product in it. And my, like I said, my scalp is oily, but I am refraining from washing it for a few days because I'm getting ready to henna my hair. And it's super drying process the way I like to do it. I keep doing it this way and I don't care. I'm gonna keep doing it that way because it's easy. But basically it's mixed with lemon juice, which is very good at cleansing your hair. And it feels good. It tones my scalp, feels really nice. But it um, dries my scalp out, my hair out of the scalp. And right now I've been sitting here and I'm thankful to have this little moment of like not being absolutely just livid. I get really, really easily, sorry, this is All the long hair people in the room know what I'm talking about. <laughs> God, I feel like a cat. But anyways, what was I saying? So I've been livid all day. I got up early and I was like, yes, I'm going to do some editing. And I have finally decided that uh, Final Cut Pro will be my destiny. And that is fine. Okay, I know how to use it. I'm pretty adept, pretty skilled. But the problem is, is that I don't know how skilled you can be at something that doesn't work well to begin with. It is a frustrating app to say the least, but for some reason, us crazy people have chosen to keep up this relationship, no matter how dysfunctional it might be. And it is... It, it is gonna kill me. I swear this thing is gonna kill me. I've been using this app for probably real loosey-goosey hobby type. Um, five years, four years. Um, <clears throat> massive learning curve, massive, massive, massive if you've never done any video editing. Um, I learned so much by using it though, because you have to learn how to edit stuff. You can't just make up stuff as you go. I mean, you can, you can't believe me. I, I do all the time, but, um, there's general rules to editing that you'll start to realize that you've got to learn and <clears throat> then you've got to realize what is a rule and what is just Final Cut Pro being a total asshole and just for you. <laughs> oh my God. So I had a lot of frustrations today, as usual, as always. Um, things that, that you don't, the problem when you're a beginning uh, film editor is that, or video editor, I should say, content editor, I don't know, um, is the, what you don't know and what is not working. That is probably the greatest challenge of using the software. And it took me five years to realize what was not me and what was just the software. And I'll tell you in that time, how much frustration I exerted, how much anger I exhibited, how much resentment I held because it was keeping me from my dream, which was to make YouTube videos. Ha 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 ha. 
Don't ask me why I persist. I have this compulsion and it is super annoying because I have a lot of problems with technology. I generally suck at technology. I have made in the past a great effort to really learn it, right? To know code, to know enough code, to know enough functionality, to know enough stuff. Friends with a lot of computer geeks back in the early 2000s that all taught me a lot. I knew more than most and that was an, a big achievement for me at the time. The problem is, is that as I've learned and I will continue to say as I get older is they, there is a time where I think all of us, no matter how adept we are at the artificial intelligence in our life, is that it is something that eventually I think we will all face the ineptitude of our knowledge. Unfortunately, some of us, like myself, will hit that point a little sooner than others, regrettably. I tried really hard to keep up to date with technology. I really have. And I think that things like smart devices, like this lovely interface that I'm using now to record, is very unfortunately making us all dumber. Yep. It's so easy to use that you don't need to ha know how to use it to use it. And that's a huge problem for when it goes wrong. And these companies, I think, had a double-edged plan in this regard. And I'll throw this out there. The ease with which smart devices function and the way that all of this starts to work together, right? If you own Apple products, your laptop talks to your iPad, talks to your phone, talks to your watch, like everything talks together. You don't need to know why it works. You don't know, you know how it works. You just literally just use it. And you have to do a few things like, oh, the colors are pretty, right? So the opportunity to gain knowledge is really, really low. Like you'll know how to do an app, how to use an app, how to use a phone, but when it breaks, do you know what you're doing? And I have begun to realize that the only option we have for fixing things on Mac products is to turn it off and turn it back on, to delete and to re-add it, to re-download it. That is so stupid. And while that I think fixes a lot of problems because it's like a, it's a configuration kind of a thing maybe, or a timing issue, you know, kind of a thing with software or something that it kind of recalibrates itself perhaps. And then, you know, in that regard, that's amazing. And it's a lot of back end engineering that goes on to make this so luxuriously easy for us. We all can lay back in our sun chairs and just enjoy the, the life of luxury. But the problem comes down to when things are not written as well as these, and you get to deal with the hours of frustrating. And when you started your project at 6 a.m. and you're thinking, this will take me an hour. I'm gonna make this as easy as I possibly can because God forbid I know I must be making it hard if it's taking me hours to edit something that I kind of realize should probably not take so long. And to realize today that it wasn't me. To realize today that it's just the buggy software. To come down back to earth and yet again realize that I continue to persist to make videos despite the frustration. And so there is a point at which I just have to accept my fate. And my fate is this. Apple products, I guess I'm going to keep on using you. I will continue to post on social media how much I hate you and how much I resent you and how much I loathe you. But I will keep using you until there's something better.